Hello, welcome to Digital Goulash. I'm Chucky, and today I'm going to be using PowerPoint 2007 to be able to make some 3D wow effects using frames and reflections and shadows. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go and select the globe from where the office button is over here and select new from this drop down menu and then from the list of things that I can pick here I'm gonna go down to presentations and it's going to go online and search Microsoft Office online and once we get that up then it's going to give me a list of presentations that are pre-made by the folks over at Microsoft I like to use the fourth one down which is the example slide effects with instructions I recommend that everyone download that particular set of templates here. This is specifically the one that I like to use for pictures. This one is great. It uses smart art and a lot of different movement and animation as well as uh, over here there's one that does some text effects and some reflections and things. But for now we're going to download this one so I'm gonna click on this and then the button down here is the download button and then it's going to go online and it's going to tell me that it's downloading these templates for anyone who has a registered copy of Microsoft Office 2007, specifically PowerPoint. So we're downloading here and in this particular tutorial I'm going to show you how to do things but you're going to have to create two PowerPoint presentations. You're going to have to have this one open you can see right here that they've expanded the note field in PowerPoint and they've given you instructions. You can always resize this if you want to to be able to make this a little bit bigger to read them but the instructions is what's the very important thing here. If you click on each one of these different effects it gives you information on how to create that particular effect. Now the ones that I'm going to be doing today I'd like to show you this effect and then there's another effect that I'm going to use and we're going to be making these effects very quickly and we're going to be using the format painter so I'm going to borrow these slide effects so I'm gonna go back to my globe and create a new presentation and I'm gonna create a blank one for myself then over in the design I'm going to pick a color and I'm just going to use one of these nice highlight colors. Uh, I just think it makes the three-dimensional effect look a little bit better when you do that. And then I'm going to, under the Home tab, going to go to my layout and specify that I want a blank slide. So we're starting off with a blank slide here with some nice lighting effects. Now we're going to be swapping back and forth between the two so you can go under your window and you can look at the switch windows here and you can switch between the two presentations. Now one thing that kind of aggravates me is that I have to keep going back through all these different things. There's my home tab. If I want to find something else I have to go to the view tab. It's great that they have this live preview and all this other stuff but it's no longer on one bar. It's on separate ribbons. So I like to have this switch window somewhere where I can get to it a little bit quicker. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to add this to my quick access toolbar and that is right here now. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my quick access bar below the ribbon. So I've just changed that. There's my save, my undo, my refresh and there's my switch windows right there. Under the design, I like to keep my designs here. I like to keep them in my quick bar as well. So I'm going to right click that, add that gallery to my quick access bar. In the insert field, I'm going to right click on picture, add that to my quick access toolbar. And then a text box, I'm going to right click and add that to my quick access toolbar. And the reason I took you through that was so that I didn't have to keep jumping around on the ribbon here. I've got all these quick access bar 
fields and icons that I can use now. That's insert a picture, that is insert a text box, and that is switch window, or that's, uh, sorry, that's my design, and then there's my switch window right there between the two presentations. So let's go ahead and switch between these two presentations, and let's go back to my presentation. Now, as a default, let's go back to the home page here, I'm going to just insert a picture from file and then that's going to open it up and I'm just going to use my sample pictures. I'm going to use this doc picture. Let's go ahead and insert it. Now as a default it creates the picture the same size as your presentation slide. When you grab the corner and resize this you can see that there is a live preview so that you can see how large your picture is. And there there it is right there. Now I'm going to be using a few keyboard shortcuts here to make this look really nice because we're only going to use one picture for this effect. I'm going to make some uh, slats or bars uh, of the picture. And I'm going to use the control C to be able to copy this and then I'm going to use control V twice to make copies of this. So Here's my three pictures, control C and two control V's. Now this tool is the crop tool. When you click on the crop tool you get the black bars and you can crop your pictures. I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to make it a right hand slat. Go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to take the bottom picture and I'm going to make it a left hand slat as I call it here. And then I'm going to take my middle picture and I'm going to make this a middle slat, something that looks approximately like this. Okay, now we have three photos that are split, and it looks like it's the same photo because it is the same photo. And we'll just kind of line these things up here. We've got three photos. You can still tell what the picture looks like, but we have three different slats here. And then you're going to want to click the background layer to get rid of the little black handles and turn them back into the little white um, corners. Now we need to switch, that's why I brought this down here, we need to switch between our presentations and we need to go over here and we need to borrow the formatting on this. Now right now this is a single object which is grouped so if we right click this and we ungroup it it will give us the three different objects that we have, the three different pictures that we have here. I'm going to borrow this effect and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use the Format Painter. Now the Format Painter will keep from slide to slide, slide presentation to slide presentation, it will keep uh, the format. So I'm going to switch my presentations here and then I'm going to come over and you can see the little paint brushes there. I'm going to click on it and there it is. It turned that into the same thing as the other one and we didn't have to do anything. I'm going to click on the middle one here. They're actually all the same but I want to take you through this so that you'll understand the format painter. Switch between the presentations here and then click on the center one and there we go and the final one switch between these presentations again. Click the third one, do the format painter, switch presentations and then click on the third one and there you have it you have three different ones here now the problem is is it didn't look like the original one that I showed you that we were gonna do well in order to do that you're gonna hold the control key down you can see that you get a little plus there and you're gonna click on all three objects here and then you're going to right click and group these as a single group now in as of, of itself here that did not change anything so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into our shape effects and we're going to pick the 3D rotation. Now this is live preview so if I wanted to hover over these you could see the different types of effects that we could have. There's some pretty weird ones and you can see that the reflection is still there. Now I kind of like this one right here or this one right here. It doesn't really matter. One's facing one direction, one's facing the other direction. So I'm going to just click on it and there we have it. We have a photo that was split into three parts and we have three dimensional looking panes of almost window glass and then we have a reflection down here and I didn't have to do anything to get that. Let's go ahead and switch back between here. 
Let me right click on this and go through the format of this. If you were to do this on your own, you would have to go in and pick your shadow and your reflection and the different types of bevels and depths and contours that you would want, the 3D rotation, how many degrees that you would want in here. And it's kind of a pain for me. I just would rather download this particular presentation with all the effects on it already and then just copy and paste the format using the format painter. So that's the way that I like to do it. The next one that I want to try and show you here is this kind of a nice 3D looking wraparound effect. I'm going to do it with the same photo again. Right now you can see that there's three different photos, but I'm going to go back to my presentation. I'm going to create a new slide here and it's going to create a blank one because this one is blank and then I'm going to once again using this icon because I put it on my quick bar here quick access bar I'll just click on it and I will pick the sea turtle and let's insert the sea turtle once again if I grab any of the corners and drag it will keep the aspect ratio and then you can get a live preview of about how large the photo is and what it looks like so there it is I'm going to kind of center this up here and then I'm going to use control C and then control V twice. We need those three pictures to be able to make this work and then automatically I'm in the format tab. I'm going to crop. It gives me the black handles and on this one let's bring this in over here like that. Let's pick the bottom one and make this the left hand one and then the center. I'm going to make this about that large. It doesn't really matter how accurate you are because there is going to be a little bit of space in between there so most people won't be able to tell how much of a difference it is. If you have a little bit of overlap that's okay. And then I'm going to line these up again and then I'm going to go back to my other presentation here. I'm going to click on it and use the format painter and jump between presentations and oh, I forgot to click the background. Didn't even follow my own instructions so let's try this again. Click on that format painter, jump between presentations and click on that and there you go. Now you notice it has a white frame the white frame is just because I picked a different set of colors and those sets of colors are under the design under colors right here I picked a different set of colors than they have so um, that does not come over on the format painting uh, you could have different things and it will change the color of your frame so let's go back here to home jump to my other presentation and do the format painting jump to this presentation click on the middle one you can probably move that back a little bit and you can see that there is a shadow that goes back behind here let's jump presentations one last time let me grab the right one do the format painting jumping here and click on this one and then maybe even bring that one up a little bit. So there we have it. We have the three different panes using the same picture and they have some 3D looking frames that go around this with some shadows. Really great thing. This one I showed you is because this one has the reflection in the front and so that's kind of nice. Rather than having a shadow in the back you have a reflection in the front. Now for those of you that like to save pictures there's another great thing that you can use about this is because instead of using um, Photoshop or anything like that now that we've just copied these you can come over to the globe and you can use the save as function go down to other formats and then go to your desktop which is what I would like to do go to the desktop and then choose one of these down here and I'm gonna choose JPEG or PNG I like the PNG is a little bit better but JPEG is also nice because you can send that to anyone and they can look at it. I'm going to select the save and then it's going to ask me whether I want to 
create JPEGs from this current slide or every single slide in the presentation. I'm going to select every single slide and there are my um, it's been saved now let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to click on this here and you can see that under my desktop that there is a file folder right here it's called presentation 3 and there are my slides so I can make these a little bit bigger if I wanted some large or extra large icons here and see what those look like and there are my JPEGs now which are suitable for either printing out if you want to do that or send them via email to somebody and I could just double click that and send that there so a couple different ways to make some 3D looking effects I'm going to create a couple more of these tutorials that's that are going to go over these so hope you enjoyed that please leave some comments if you don't understand or if you want to tell me how great I'm doing so thanks and take care I will catch you around